coriander. It's a lovely spice to add to our boltong, borovos, drivos, all those things all have coriander in. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just doing a quick video on frying up coriander for mixing in with the biltong and borovo spices. Salt, pepper, coriander is the basis for most dried products and the, the borovo set, borovo sausage that we make. Okay, so the process is simple. We get our coriander and we fry it on the, on the, on the gas stove. And once it's sort of, a little bit sort of smoking and you get a snap, crackle, pop type sort of sound from it and the aroma really starts coming out. That means that the oils in the, the coriander are, are, are moving around and that's when it's ready. I then put that into a, into a big container and when I've done the whole bag and whatnot, then I take it and I put it through a coffee grinder and just to grind it up a bit and then I use it from there. Okay, so I, I also get a pre-ground coriander, which I mix in when I'm making up my spices. What I do with spices, I get all my salts and peppers and coriander and everything. And I make a big batch of about 20 kilos at a time and then I just weigh that out as I'm using. But that's because we're making, making big quantities. Most people can get away with just making a few kilos here and there of their, when they do their biltong. And just by adding a few teaspoons and, and, and a few grams and that sort of thing, just to follow the, the whatever recipe they're using. Alright, so let's get on and start doing it. Right, so I'll buy coriander in big bags, 10 kilo bags at a time. This lot is the, the normal sort of biggest coriander seed. And I've also got some coriander seed which is smaller. You can see the actual seeds themselves are smaller. So I use two of these to one of those and that gets me roughly for the amount that I've, I've bought in. Then my stove, I've got three frying pans on there. I get them nice and hot and then start. And then I've got a, a white container that I put it in once it's, it's done. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, so let's get these switched on. We'll wait for those to heat up nicely. And then we will get our little jug some of those, some of those. Let's put that in there. Wait for them to heat up nicely and start smoking. And you can hear like a little snap, crackle, and pop sometimes as well. So let's, let's wait and see. Okay, I'm sure you can hear it now. Give them a shake every now and then. See a little bit of smoke coming off them. Bit of snap, crackle and popping. This one's got a few little brown pieces, that's fine. Not quite ready. See a bit of smoke coming off that one. That's just about ready. Here's some crackle pop. Right, that's starting to get brown pieces in, which is perfect. That's ready. That's ready. Okay, so now we just carry on like that until the whole couple of bags are done.
Right. There's no crackling and popping. Perfect. You have to keep shaking them around otherwise they get burnt in one spot. Get a bit hot. Occasionally you get a bit of brown stuff in which is okay but it's not, not the best. Right, these are all done. of the small ones so you can see they're a bit darker it's not being burnt it's just that they're darker I do two big two big ones to one small one just to get a nice sort of flavor because they, they do taste different as well the word of advice when you're doing this is Open your front door, open your back door, have a fan on somewhere, have an extractor fan on as well because your house really gets to smell of coriander, but it's a good smell. So I've now done half a big bag, the whole small bag, so that's seven and a half kilos total. This is the last little batch and I've got two big tubs of ready to grind up coriander now. I'll let them cool down for a few hours and then I will put them through my coffee grinder. So that's it. Final one, two, three pans. And they can all now cool down. That's it, ready to grind. Okay, so I've left this overnight to cool off. Now it's simply the process of just getting it through my, my two little coffee grinders and then I dump it into my red box, seal it up and put it on the shelf. Now talking about leaving it overnight to cool. When you're just doing small, small amounts, you don't have to, you can, once, once you've fried it up, you can, you can process it straight away and you mix it into your spice. I always let it cool off because it sort of gets moisture. It's got the, the, the seeds have got a lot of moisture in anyway and you get a bit of moisture build up in the box and everything. So it's not good to do it straight away when it's so hot. It's, it, it, it sweats. I suppose it's called sweating. Okay, when we're doing a lot like I do, it does take quite a bit of time, but you know, it's, it's just something that's got to be done. I would need to find a, an industrial coffee grinder to make it any quicker, but this is fine for me. So that's all it takes. that one a little bit so it had to be a bit longer but literally it's only I don't know I didn't time it 20 seconds or so I suppose okay for those of you who don't have coffee grinders and have pestle and mortar this is mine obviously it's a fake one because I don't have one and I've got my my pestle as well 
and you just put it in and you just grind it down like that and it will work very well. So that's another way to do it. I've just realized I have got one, one of these that you shake. You fill it up and it's got a, a big ball inside and you shake it like that, a Jamie Oliver thing that you shake. That works very, very well as well. I have used that in the past. So, you know, in, anything like that, just to break it up, to get it to release all its, its, its flavors. And then you mix it in with your spices. Okay. That's how it looks there. Got some biggish pieces in still, a lot of small stuff, and it smells divine. Right, so I'm going to carry on now and get it all done. So this looks like the next one is full. I've already filled one. This is the second one. Level them off a bit. Put his lid on. And that's it. He can now go on the shelves and ready for making spices as, as and when I need. Right, folks. Well, that's it. I've cooked my coriander seed. I let it cool. I've ground it up in the coffee grinders. As I said, you can also use your pestle and mortar. And now it's ready, it's all boxed. Got a couple of boxes out of got a little bit left to do, which I'll put in a bag. And that's it. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, or like the video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll just keep going. Thanks very much. See you again.